Although they say if there's a will, there's a way, it's actually not quite true. <laughs> More like if there's a habit, there's a way. Today on Reinventing You. How's it going? I'm Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You, the channel where I want to inspire you to go on your own reinventing journey so that you can live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. I post twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm so glad that you've joined me today. If what I'm saying in today's video makes sense for you and you like it, please give me a thumbs up. I've been talking lately about rewiring your brain. And some of you are probably thinking, well, I'm going to reinvent my life. I'm just going to do it. I'm determined. I have really strong will. And if I set my mind to it, I know that I can do it. Well, that's not necessarily true. First, I want us to think about rewiring your brain and what it means. Rewiring your brain really refers to a scientific term called neuroplasticity. And that is the way your neurons are firing in your brain, the way you learn things. Your brain is continually adapting and changing. When you have a habit or you do something constantly, there is something that you do you don't have to think about. Say, for instance, when you're driving or you're eating or you're riding, your brain has learned certain pathways and it set those up. And so you don't have to think about it. It's just there in your brain. Same thing with your emotions, how you feel, the way you look at the world. All of those things have been basically taught. We've taught ourselves, we've taught our brains to do certain things throughout our lives and feel certain ways. This includes habits, feelings, day-to-day -day actions, and experiences. In fact, they say what you do, what you focus your attention on, what your actions are, can actually be changed. You can quite literally change your brain or rewire your brain. You do have that power. So I know you're thinking, okay, well fine, I can rewire my brain through my willpower. <laughs> but really it's not about willpower, it's about small daily habits. According to the American Psychological Association or the APA, willpower actually can be depleted. Uh, there was an experiment done in, I think it was 1998, by Roy Baumeister. He did an experiment where he had a room where people walked in and it smelled like cookies. In the room, there was a puzzle, plate of cookies, freshly baked, and a plate of radishes. One group was not, they just were in the room and they weren't told anything. Another group went in and they weren't told what they could or couldn't eat, but they were asked to do a puzzle and that lasted, they could, they, on average, they lasted about 19 minutes. The third group was told they could not eat the cookies. They could only eat the radishes, which they obeyed. They did that. But then when they were asked to do this complex geometric puzzle, they only lasted like eight or nine minutes. <laughs> Your willpower does simply decrease over time. There have been other experiments done to show that willpower does get depleted. And I have a personal story about willpower. When I was pregnant with my son, I did the usual test in pregnancy, and one of them was the blood sugar test. They said I was borderline for gestational diabetes, and so that I needed to go on this diet. And let me tell you, I used a lot of willpower. I was really determined that my baby was going to be born healthy, lower weight, and that I was not going to end up as somebody with diabetes beyond the birth. I I mean, I remember one time baking cookies for my husband and nephew, a whole batch of chocolate chip cookies. I didn't eat a single cookie, which is like not me. I stuck to this diet. I ate at the particular times. And it really was sad because pregnancy is supposed to be one of those times where you can eat, you're eating for two, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> But as soon as my son was born, I said, well, I'm breastfeeding. I need all these nutrients. I don't have to worry about gestational diabetes. I can eat whatever I want. And let me tell you, I made up for lost time. So when people say, oh, I can do it. It's just my willpower. Your willpower is not enough to make major changes in your life. Your willpower is not going to help you reinvent your life. You have got to make tiny daily habits. You have got to rewire your brain. You have to change your neuroplasticity and you can do that 
it is going to happen over time because those little habits that I'm talking about, little small changes I've said before, you have to do those in a consistent manner. So it's not about willpower. It's making those small daily changes, those daily habits every day to rewire or change your brain. How are you coming on your own reinventing journey? Or have you started one yet? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you would, leave a comment below if you have a story about using willpower that eventually depleted or not. I want to hear from you. I'm Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You. Have a great one.